So today I'm talking a little bit about reducing waste. Um, there is a lot of waste in the world today, and unfortunately a lot of that just ends up getting dumped in the ocean, which is why there is a floating island of trash in the ocean now. And the truth is, there doesn't have to be. There are a lot of ways that we can all at least reduce the amount of waste that we're making. Um, not all of us can go zero waste, sometimes it's just too hard, but we can all reduce the amount of trash that we make. So here are a few simple ways to reduce waste. So number one, it seems like a no-brainer, but it's amazing how many people will not do this. Use reusable bags. Uh, according to Inspiration Green, Americans throw away 100 billion plastic grocery bags a year. And we're just talking about the actual grocery bags. We're not talking about the, the little plastic that comes in the pasta bags or the cereal liners or anything like that. We're talking about just the plastic grocery bags with the handles. And that's just Americans. We're, we're not even talking about the rest of the world. That's just one country. So that's a lot of waste. And it's not necessary. There are the reusable bags, they're easy to get a hold of, they sell them for like, I don't know, a dollar pretty much anywhere. So they're totally easy to get a hold of. And they're also a lot stronger. You don't have to worry about them breaking out like the plastic grocery bags do. So they have other benefits as well. And you can reuse them a million times, so you don't have to worry about them getting old or whatever. And um, if you find you have trouble remembering to bring them, just keep them in your car all the time and that way you don't have to forget them. You just always be in your car, bring home your groceries, unpack your groceries, throw the bags back in your car, and they're there ready next time you need to go get groceries. So another thing you can do is recycle your batteries. Um, rechargeable batteries are actually a lot easier to recycle because um, because of what they're made out of. A lot of places have to take them by law, so you can go down to like Lowe's and drop off your reusable batteries and they have to take them. Um, I think no matter what, what they go into, it doesn't matter what they go into, Lowe's has to take them and then they send them back to the manufacturer for, for recycling. So if you have rechargeable batteries, you can take them down there. Um, Single-use batteries are a little bit harder. Um, you pretty much you have to go online and you have to get a battery, you have to order a battery box and then the box comes and you fill up the battery box and then it's uh, prepaid. You have to pay for the box initially, but the postage is prepaid once you've got the box and then you just send it back and they recycle it. If you focus on rechargeable batteries, all you gotta do is drop them off at your local Lowe's and they totally recycle them. So number three is buy second hand. Um, if you've watched my tutorials for any amount of time, you know that almost all the bases for my costumes come from the Salvation Army. Because one, it's really cheap. Why spend money on buying something brand new when you can just go to the Salvation Army and get it for like two bucks? Okay, so that's a huge benefit right there. Plus, then you're not spending the money on the new clothes. Um, a lot of clothing manufacturers, anything they don't sell at the end of the year, a lot of them will actually burn the clothes rather than sell them at a discount. So that is just a huge amount of waste. So if you buy the used clothes, you're keeping those out of the landfill. And if there's not as much demand for new clothing, then clothing companies aren't going to make as much, so they won't have to burn so much and throw out so much and all of that at the end of the year. And um, when they make new clothes, they take a piece of material, they cut out the shirt or whatever, and then they just chuck the rest right into the landfill. They don't even bother trying to reuse the smaller pieces because it's easier to just get a brand new piece of fabric. So there is a lot of waste that goes into new clothes. Buy used as often as you can. And um, I am a regular shopper at the Salvation Army. That's where, like I say, all my, all my um, costume bases come from there. I don't actually buy that many clothes because I just use the ones that I have. Um, I spend like 10 to $15 a year on clothes and half of that is socks. And I know that some people have this idea that like anything in a secondhand shop it must be garbage, but it's really not. Um, you can find stuff like almost brand new there. I mean, it's just stuff that somebody decided they didn't want and they got rid of. So rather than put it in a landfill, go ahead and grab it from there. It's a lot cheaper and it's a lot better for the environment. And I one time found a pair of, um, what was the brand name? Uh, Express jeans uh, for $5. And of course, I don't follow brand names, so I have you know no idea what those were. But somebody's like, oh my gosh, these are Express jeans? I'm like, yeah. They're like, wow, these things are so expensive. I'm like, yeah, I got them for $5 at the Salvation Army. So, and they were in great shape. So uh, buy secondhand, it's a good thing to do. Number four. Get rid of paper towels. This is a huge one. Paper towels are such a huge waste, you know. They waste trees, they cut them down, then they're taken up. They do biodegrade, but they're usually in a plastic bag, in a landfill, where they can't biodegrade for a million years. So paper towels are just a ton of waste. You can do really well with just dish towels. You know, you can use your, your dish towels to wipe up any mess, and then you just wash the dish towel, and you can use it a million times. Lose the paper towels. You don't actually need paper towels. There are so many alternatives to paper towels. Just use regular rags. You don't need paper towels. Okay, number five is eat local if you can. If you're in the city, it's a little bit more difficult, but if you're in the country, uh, there is no excuse not to eat local. Go to the farm markets. Farm markets are great places. Um, for starters, it cuts down on the amount of transportation time that, you know, so it 
saves gas and it saves time because they're not bringing the food from 400 miles away to get it to you. It's been locally grown, so it's also really good for your food too because it has been riding around in a truck for the last three weeks. Um, so you know it's fresher produce and it's way less packaging because everything you buy in the supermarket is you know packaged all to the hilt. Um, you go down to a farmer farmer's market and you can just you know get your vegetables or your fruit or whatever just like right there you stick them in your own bag and you take them home and they're fresh and clean and you just wash them off and uh, you know no packaging necessary so eat local saves a lot of packaging uh, number six is unplug your devices when you're not using them uh, your computer uh, modern TVs I don't think the old TVs did but modern TVs um, radios, whatever, everything that's left plugged into a wall is sucking energy. Um, they call them vampire devices, so even when they're off, they're still sucking energy because they're in standby mode. So if you just get a power strip and you just click it off, then they're not sucking energy anymore, and so that will save you money on your electric bill too. So not only is it saving energy, it also saves you money on your electric bill. Uh, one way to save gas is to carpool or ride your bike to work. Um, if you're close enough, you can ride your bike. If you're farther away, um, find somebody who's going the same direction and carpool with them. That way you're only using one car's worth of gas to get somewhere, rather than two cars of gas going the same direction. Plus, if you split, you know, the cost of the gas, then you're each only paying half for the same trip that you would have each had to pay full for to get there if you took two different cars. So, carpool, ride your bike, save gas, save money. And so then finally, a big one is use reusable containers. Um, in our world today, everything is, you know, everything needs to be fast, so all the, all the fast food is all prepackaged and everything like that, and it just creates a ton, ton, ton of waste. And a lot of the packaging is not even recyclable, so um, it ends up just right in the trash, can't even be recycled, so huge amount of waste. So the thing to do is bring your own containers. Um, instead of plastic water bottles, again, instead of plastic water bottles, bring your own container. Um, you can also bring these to your favorite coffee shop or whatever, and they will fill these up instead of filling up a little paper cup with the plastic lid or the plastic straw. Um, I'm a sucker for protein smoothies, so I take this. Um, one of the towns nearby um, has really good protein smoothies, so um, I take this and she'll fill uh, this up with my protein smoothie, and I don't need the plastic cup with the plastic top then, and so, you know. And this is insulated besides, so it keeps it at a good temperature and doesn't get overheated. So that's also another benefit. They even have, you know, like reusable straws, metal straws, and they come with the little, the little scrubby thing. If you, if you're really a straw person, you really need the straw. They have reusable straws that you can use. And you can bring those with you when you go to a restaurant or your lunch place or wherever to get your lunch. You can bring those. You know, bring you know the little metal soup bowl. Have them fill up the soup bowl instead of using the foam cup, you know, whatever. It's really easy. You just keep this stuff in your car so you always have it, and then you just take it into your restaurant, ask them to use it. Um, and food places are getting um, a lot more used to this because there's more and more people doing it, so you probably won't have any trouble. A lot of them are happy to do it too because it saves them money. Because if you're using a reusable container, then they don't have to be using the foam container or whatever they would normally send it out in, so that saves them money. So they're usually happy to accommodate your reusable container. So another benefit is that if you're creating less trash, then you may need to have your trash picked up less, which allows you to spend less money on trash collection. And saving money is always a good thing. And so a lot of people argue that um, it doesn't make a difference because, you know, one person, big deal, you know, you're only saving a little bit of trash in the landfill, it's not that big of a deal. And yes, they're right, one person alone isn't going to make that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. But you only need to inspire one other person to do the same thing, and then you got two people doing it. And so if that person inspires another one, then you've got three people doing it. Imagine if you inspire two people, then you've got two people besides you, so you've got three people, and if they inspire two more, then you've got five people, and it just keeps on growing. I mean, you really only need to inspire one person to create less trash. If you're creating less trash, you inspire one person, and it just keeps on going. I mean, you get a lot of people doing these little things. It adds up to a lot less trash in the world. So don't ever let anybody tell you that one person can't do anything, because it really does. It really does. Because as Galadriel says, even the smallest person can change the course of the future. Even one person can inspire a lot of other people, which creates a lot less trash. So give a few of these a go and start creating less trash.